Right, a bit of a demonstration on how you put in a seal kit into calipers. I've taken this um, PBR Australian made caliper kit. It's off a Ford uh, 2001 AU Series 2 double piston. It's actually on my HQ ute with upgraded discs on it. So I'm just putting a kit through this and uh, this is the piston that came out of it. This is the, these are the old dust boots, which they're probably okay. They're not broken, but fire kit, you get everything. So they're going away. These are the old seals. They don't actually look too bad, but when you pull them, apart pull them off pull them apart you may as well give it the full rundown i haven't bought new pistons because these pistons are actually quite good when i pulled them out they look good i've then put them on a wire wheel to clean them up i then used some 1200 grit paper sandpaper wrapped them in that and gave them a good twist around cleaned everything up with brake and parts cleaner without the rubber seals in don't do that necessarily with your seals in so uh, I originally used my compressed air with a little rubber end on it bit of rubber clear bleeder hose and then put tape on it until it was the right thickness to squeeze into there and popped out my pistons uh, using a bit of timber to stop them from damaging themselves up here or flying across the room so I've got that one in so I thought I would demonstrate here so now what I've done is as you can see I've got the second one here to do you can see that I've got my piston all cleaned up inside I should say the inside of the piston on the caliper all nicely cleaned up especially in the groove that the uh, square cut seal sits in you want to have that exceptionally clean I then took my Penrite rubber grease red solvent resistant grease don't use brake fluid um, it's not designed to um, to be used to install these things it's designed to push it out ideal thing to use is this rubber seal rubber grease so I'm using that so what I did is I got in there with this which is my drill with a wire wheel sorry wire yes a wire wheel bottle brush style it's a little bit small so I had to go round round it like that to clean it all out but that gets right into all of the crevices and grooves and cleans them out exceptionally clean I also got in here with the little brass brush to get out any little bits using a little hook device and another small one that I've made here in order to make sure you get into all the little corners and crevices uh, these things are exceptionally handy for when you're putting these things back on again so now I'll go through the process of showing you how you put them together so first of all you take your seal I put it in before I started recording which was a mistake what I did is I got my rubber grease and I coated the inside you can coat the inside of the piston because it just helps to protect it it's a good protectant against any uh, wear any corrosion in the future it will um, not have any effect on the uh, brake fluid at all it's only a very thin layer spread around but a nice layer inside where you put your square cut seal in I then got the square cut seal put grease all over my fingers and ran my fingers all the way around it so that that was fully covered in grease uh, then got as much as I could into this outer lip which is where the dust boot will sit you then get your piston which has been as I said cleaned right up you get 
a good dollop of grease on your finger and thumb especially around this end because this is where the, the seal we will be not so much necessary at, over here but I do the entire thing just rotate it round in your hand like that so you can get it right into all of the seals as, as in all of the grooves where the seals sit the dust boot sits in here so it'll slip in nicely if you get some good grease in there make sure you've got a good coating all the way around on there stick your finger in the hole to do the other end so that's getting a good layer of grease all over the piston itself so that'll help protect the piston from any corrosion into the future you do the same thing with your dust boot so just get your dust boot roughly opened out get some grease smear get both fingers inside and out and just rotate it around in your thumb and finger so smear it all over the outside first if you like just to make sure you've got plenty on there but I like to get in underneath there and then just feed it round between thumb and finger and that will make sure you get a good even coating all over it right then take the protruding end of your dust boot this part that sticks out with the larger seal ring on it this one's got the smaller seal on this side so you put that end in first stick it in over the top squeeze that onto there it will then pop straight into the groove which is where it's going to sit eventually you will need to grab some sort of rag to grab the seal because it's covered in grease just pull it out a little bit grab it with your finger pull it out a bit more and just pop it out like that so it sits on your ah uh, sits on your piston like that and then inch it down not too quick otherwise it'll pop off the other end until whoop, until you get it hanging half on half off like that this is all the easy bit obviously and then we've got it sitting like that so your boots on your pistons all greased up the inside of your piston is all greased up you have your inner seal your square cut seal in now what you're intending on doing is getting this bottom edge of here and inserting it into the bottom edge of this groove here and then maneuvering it in so that all of this edge pops into that seal there now I've seen multiple people do it different ways I've seen people put this on first try and squeeze it into there and then try and squeeze this piston inside the uh, dust boot and I think that's just way too hard so I'll attempt to do this I'll uh, you'll probably have a terrible view but that's life I'll try and uh, get in as close as I can in editing so the trick is to try and hold it because otherwise this thing with all the grease on it will just slide straight off the end you get that edge and try and as I said try and get that bottom edge there into the bottom edge of that groove like so and then maneuver it around so that bottom edge gets in you've got to tilt it down on a bit of an angle so tilt it make sure that you're getting that you're continuing to keep that hanging out because otherwise it doesn't want to sit in properly here we go get in there push that as much as you can with your thumb around there maneuver that to there and then when you get it so that the piston is in it the whole thing looks like it's in just try and rotate the piston without pushing the piston in because you don't want to go up to your square seal yet and now I can see that it's in on the bottom 
but we have a gap on the top here that's where if you can hold the piston still hold that down that's when you grab, grab your little bent hook and try and manipulate that in you've got to try and keep it out as far as possible to have room to get it in there there we go that slipped in try not to let it move too much that one in right so now you can use the little edge of this to make sure you've got it in all the way around there it should be right that looks to me like that rubber seal is sitting nicely in there of course the piston isn't in so we'll just give it a bit of a, a rotate to make sure everything's sitting well now you can see the rubber boot is rotating inside the seal sorry inside the lip on the outside there so that shows you you can rotate all rotate the piston all the way around the rubber sit boot rotates as well so you know it's nicely in there that also helps to spread the grease around inside then all you have to do is get your thumbs on it wiggle it so you get it nice and square there you go she just slipped inside the square cut seal whoops so that is it trying to do things and pick it up and show you so she's in now and all it takes is a little bit of a push a square push there we go she's sliding in and you just slide it until that outer lip pops into the there it goes she just pops straight into the outer lip on your piston you know she's in and then you can just push it in flush and there you have it all the way in all the way around now your dust boots in the proper inside lip and on the piston lip and you have two calipers pistons inserted with seals okay hope that helps out